English voice is so bad. Um, like, yes. You know what's crazy? I actually like Roy's. I think Roy's is actually pretty good, and they made Marth's terrible. It's okay, Roy, but like, I just can't, I really can't with like, Marth. Yeah. They, they yeah, ruined no, Marth so much from Smash 4, and like, I feel like you could have you you gotten somebody else to like the voice. What? 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 what we need to replay gaming? that. I guess. Is, is he gaming right now? Is that what he said? Um, yeah, sure. Also, we have to talk about this. So we have Mono and Hoshidun's Finals. Um, oh, we're not seeing a Fox. We're seeing a Corrin, yes. actually. Hoshido's Finest is from Long Island. So we have a Long Islander you know, in the building today. Mm, and okay, interesting. Love Corrin. Corrin's just awesome. So it's just a real nice treat that we get to see this, um, especially against Marth 2. Mono being one of the only Marth we actually have overall. Um, there's also uh, Kileko. I, I'm butchering their name. There's just X. Mm -hmm. X? Your boy X. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, no, he, he's from New York. He's from the city. Um, but yes, for sure. Um, definitely love to see these very diverse characters because what you think we have, we have to get some of the character diversity here. Mm -hmm. Hello, and you know we just have two char um two people you know who's really good with both of their characters respectively, but that you know counter was not it in that moment, and that counter wasn't working out too well either. Just love that. Yeah, it was a good stall by Hoshido, and like the one thing about this matchup is that Mano is very good with spacing out um, these tipper nairs. Um, it's a move that, that can take stocks pretty early out of shield. Um, he's very patient as he's walking around. But Shido right now, showing his poise because he was down a um, considerable amount um, at the beginning of the game and just like slowly but surely brought it back. And it's been like really a methodical process from Bushido. Absolutely. And the thing about like Korin too is that Korin doesn't have too many fast options, but they are really good. So, you know, just the fact that like you're able to. Ooh, Sometimes just overwhelm people, especially when you're at ledge. Like that right there was going to be how, you know, Hoshido lost their first stock. Mm. But they're back on, you know, the aggressive, just making sure that they keep Mono back at ledge, trying to make sure that they can never get back to center stage. Why do you want Martha at center stage? Who wants Martha at center stage with these big disjoints and freaking sword go brr? Yeah, and, and it's, it's crazy. It's crazy because, like, the thing that is keeping Martha away from the center stage isn't even the sword, it's the wings, right? It's, mm -hmm. I mean, it's Corrin's wings. Same back air, right? And, um, yeah, just doing a very good job at walling up Mono, but Mono getting that reset, and that might be the stock. Mm, yeah. Not getting the tipper. That yeah. would have been such a cool Twitter clip, but we're not going to get that. And the trade with the pin right there actually ending up in a bad situation for, um, you know, Hoshido's finest. And we're just looking at a very even game. It's been even, like, from the get-go, and it's just a really interesting match so far. Mm -hmm. I definitely love these downers that, you know, Hoshido has been doing, though. It just hasn't been working entirely yet, and they are going to get hit by the F-Tilt and into death. And wow. they are on their last stock, and this could be really bad. Is that... Yeah, and you try to SDI it up, and it didn't work out. And, like, you know, one thing you don't want to do as Corn is, like, try to go forward to over forward to over mm -hmm. right? Um, yeah, but like one thing that Mono's doing right now is like really stacking up, right? Because both his characters do struggle landing. Um, but I feel like, like yeah, right now Hoshido is just like really tr struggling to find a foothold, and Mono is like very patient, so it's, you're gonna have a hard time landing. Absolutely, and the thing is, you know, they have they have been using a lot of good down airs. It's just for the most part, like they haven't really been hitting them. For enough to like it to make it more of a trade, and you know they just have a very hard time landing, and that you know landing issue could end in them dying actually. And wow, wow. what the heck was that? Yeah, yeah. Um, that's like a I, I don't what I forgot what that was called. It's like I know I know Marth and Lucina can do no impact landing. I there it is because I was about to say I know um, Marth and Lucina can do it pretty easily. The no impact land. Um, but yeah, let's go go no impact. Real gaming time. Oh, period. Oh man, that that looks that should be like a, a fighter, a fighting game out here, right? Like after you win, she says real gaming time. Just puts period. The on the screen. But yeah, um, you know, good stuff on Mono, right? Because like actually, you know, Hoshido brought it back considerably, considering he was down in the beginning of the game, mm -hmm. and Mono just like you know kept kept to the course, you know, juggled Hoshido very well, 
um, punished was punishing Oshido at a shield pretty well, and it's just like overall just like a solid game plan. Absolutely, I really just feel like it was more of their like ability to land that actually kind of you know made it a very bad time for them. You know, you saw a lot of consistent, you know, air dodges like that. You saw a lot of consistent down air. So not being able to mix up those options was what really spelt the whole entire game from them. And especially since, you know, like, Hoshido, like, didn't really mix it up either. It was more of, like, you know, Mano kind of got entombed with, like, the, the wavelength of just, like, Hoshido. <laughs> but for sure, just continuing on with a little bit of this disadvantage, you know, we need to see... Mano just already going off at this point, already with 77%, and Host Judo is just trying to fight back and just get some damage, yeah. you know, in regards to that, but, um, ooh. Yeah, and, and that was a good rebuttal by Oshido, attacking on like 68% also very quickly, and yeah, Mano taking the stock, that forward tilt actually covers a big, a, a large jump arc, which is pretty hilarious. But let's see what Hoshido can do. I'm throwing out these down tilts, trying to catch Mano's landing. You can convert a down tilt into up air at certain percent for a kill. Um, but right now it's not working out. From now, he's the one struggling to land. And Mano is just, once again, racking up the damage. All right. Ooh. You know, a lot of the times that, you know, Hoshido has been actually, you know, trying to catch Mano's landings, it's really good positioning by their part. It's just a lot of the time, you know, they're, it might just be that Corrin's a little bit too slow, but they're never really immediately there with the punish, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no. okay, Corrin, Corrin is a character that does have kind of slow buttons, right? So, like, you know, you try to punish with a forward tilt, then you get hit with Mars forward tilt. You try to mm -hmm. punish with a pin, you miss, and it's just like, oh, I just put myself out there, and I lost a stop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? It's like all these all these options for Corrin are, like, almost slower versions of Mars moves, and it's mm -hmm. very hard. But, like, taking that stock, Two stock to one advantage, um, you know, I, Hoshido's probably looking to get some good momentum. You know, early on in that in that first stock, they did net a good 0 to 70%. Maybe they could tap into that right now. I mean, it could definitely be a possibility. They can try their best to make this comeback. And, you know, Korn is no, you know, light on the, you know, how much they have, you know, with their comeback potential. But we just need to see, ooh them not get sent back off stage and put back into disadvantage just for a little bit longer so that they can keep this percent but is that going to take it that is absolutely going to take it that was a very amazing showing by both of these players but for sure it was just a lot of the situations where you know Hoshido needed to land but then they didn't really get a lot of you know I guess really anything good from it really you know they, they needed to land and they couldn't so that just kind of spelled like a very bad time for them when you have a very hard time landing. And it makes sense because, you know, like, how do you land, especially with, you know, a dragon person that is just like, what am I going to do? <laughs> yeah. I can go, I can 